Um, you know, it's, as you articulated, it's the eighth practice. Um, it was not a full scrimmage situation, which will be on our next scrimmage on Saturday the 19th. Um, worked on some situational stuff. Um, you know, I think we have some guys that weren't able to go today because of nagging injuries. Um, that's typical at this time of the year. Um, I'll watch the film and judge how today went. I think the first eight days here have been um, positive, um, good focus good learning, and then when it's all said and done, that will equal good football, but we got work to do. Yeah, to be honest with you, that's leadership. I think we um, are leading with from within correctly. It's a standard we set back in January when we came back for second semester. And the standard was, um, you know, we're not gonna worry about your feelings. You're gonna have to show up here every day and be different as a football player, be different as a student. We hit a 3-0 as a student and we worked hard all winter and spring and summer to prepare for our football season. And now this is our time to actually do what we love to do. There's two things we do right now, play football and play football. And that's what we're doing. Well, the one thing I've always known about transfers, wherever, whenever we've taken them, and we've taken a ton of them over the years, um, it sort of fits our profile of Long Island. An older kid loves to come to Long Island. You got the Hamptons, you got Fire Island, you got New York City. It's easy from airports to fly in. But the one thing that's always true is they came here, okay, because they want to play. And they saw that opportunity to play. So that energy level is contagious to our other players. Um, and, you know, they're on the field and they're blending well and they're not selfish. None of the guys that showed up on May 22nd are in the starting lineup. Whether they will be or not, we'll figure out on the field. They've got to earn their opportunity. Yeah, uh, I mean, that position as we look at it in um, pro football, all the great ones come out of college and they're not successful. All the great ones come out of high school and go to college, they're not necessarily successful. So, you know, it's a hard position to recruit. I think what you're looking for is honestly what he has and what our other quarterbacks have. They're all very bright. They understand the game. He understands the game. He's had three years of being the number two quarterback. You have to be ready on every play. And you get a ton of practice time, spring ball, preseason. And so he's got a ton of reps. I think he's mastered our offense from a perspective of what we do. Now he's got to continue to grow that from that perspective. You know, I think he's got the tools um, on the field, but I think as we look at coaches, it's all about what you do and how you present yourself. Um, he does a good job. I think all our quarterbacks present themselves. If you met our coordinator, he don't really talk very much. He doesn't yell very much. He's opposite of me which is a good thing. So there's a level of consistency that he's brought to the plate as well as our quarterback room. I got to commend the Cleveland organization right now. Now they're a Northeast organization. The head coach played at Penn from Jersey. So, but that being said, um, it is awesome for them. I know it's their goal. Gavin had a horrific injury last year, which removed him from Seattle. And when you talk to the Seattle coaches, they thought he could be a player and stay for a lot of years, but he had to rebound for that. And, you know, we know the NFL is you're in and you're out. So I think hopefully they're enjoying their days in. Um, the Wheatley situation, moving to O Lyman, we teased him when he was here. He took it and is flying with it. Sam is a homegrown tomato, and so is Gavin. Gavin so wish him the best. We did a popsicle drill, <laughs> okay? So at Albany, Coach Ford, who is a legendary coach there, um, all of a sudden, somewhere in the middle of camp, all of a sudden, the golf cart drove up and everybody got a popsicle and we had popsicle and we went back and beat the hell out of each other.